Maple leaf TU160, also called White Swan, and the NATO reporting name Black Jack, is a supersonic variable sweep wing heavy strategic bomber designed and created by the Tupolev Design Bureau in the Soviet Union in the 1970s, and it is the largest and heaviest Mach 2 plus supersonic military aircraft ever built and second to the experimental US aircraft XB 70 Valkyrie in overall length. As of 2021, it is the largest and heaviest combat aircraft, the fastest bomber in the use, and the largest and heaviest variable sweep wing airplane ever flown and currently in the service. Tupolev Tu-160 entered service in 1987 and the Tu-160 was the last strategic bomber designed for the Soviet Union. As of 2016, the Russian Air Force Long Range Aviation Branch still had 16 aircraft in service. The Tu-160 active fleet has been undergoing updated to electronic systems since the early 2000s. The TU-160M modernization program of exciting models has begun with the first updated aircraft delivered in December 2014. On 12 January 2022, first newly serial-built aircraft had its first test flight with planned deliveries of two new until end of 2022 with a contract of 10 on order. The Tu-160 is a variable geometry wing aircraft and it employs a fly-by-wire control system with a blended wing profile and full-span slats are used on the leading edges with double-slotted flaps on the trailing edges and a cruciform tail. Titanium constitutes around 30% of the aircraft's 110 tons empty weight and the largest component is the swing wing high and it weighs 6 tons. The Tu-160 has a crew of 4 and they are the pilot, co-pilot, bombay gear and defensive systems operate in K-36LM ejection seats. The Tu-160 is powered by four Kuznet Storm and K-32 after burning turbofan engines, the most powerful ever fitted to a combat aircraft, unlike the American B-1B Lancer, which reduced the original Mach 2 Plus requirement for the B-1A to achieve a smaller radar cross-section. The Tu-160 retains variable intake ramps and is capable of reaching Mach 2.5 speed at altitude. The Tu-160 is equipped with a probe and probe in-flight refueling system for extended range missions. Although it is rarely used, the Tu-160 has an internal fuel capacity of 130 tons. In February 2008, 260 bombers and 78 refueling tankers practiced air refueling during air combat exercise, as well as MiG-31, A-50 and other Russian combat aircraft. The aircraft carries a transport Leninets observed carry radar for tracking of ground and air targets and a separate subcarterian following radar. Although the Tu-160 was designed for reduced detection to both radar and infrared signature, it is not a stealth aircraft. Nevertheless, Gen Caro came Tu-160 managed to penetrate the U.S. sector of the Arctic undetected on 25 April 2006, leading to a USF investigation, according to a Russian source. Weapons are carried in two internal bays each capable of holding 20,000 kilograms of free-fall weapons or a rotary launchers for nuclear missiles. Additional missiles may also be carried externally. The aircraft's total weapons load capacity is 40,000 kilograms. No defensive weapons are provided. The Tu-160 is the first post-World War II Soviet bomber to lack such defenses. Currently, the Russian Air Force is planning to arm the Tu-160 with new hypersonic missiles, in particular the KH-47M2 Kinzhal. While similar in appearance to the American B-1 Lancer, the Tu-160 is a different class of combat aircraft 
its primary roles being standoff missiles platform also called a strategic missile carrier the 260 is also larger and faster than the B1B and has a slightly greater combat range though the B1B has a larger combined payload with external payload another noticeable difference is the B1 color scheme is usually subdued dark gray to reduce visibility the 260 is painted with anti-flash white giving it the nickname among Russian airmen white swan words of 260 number one 260s designations used for serial 260s when needed to separate them from all the pre-production and experimental aircraft. Number 2. 260 proposed a liquid hydrogen filled version. Number 3. 260 NK-74 proposed upgraded version with NK-74 engines. Number 4. 260M upgraded version that features new weaponry improved electronics and avionics which doubles its combat effectiveness. This varying compromise of modernization of exciting models and newly built models with some differences between two. In some sort, newly produced is designated as 260M2 but in most source appearance to be designated 260M, the same as modernized exciting models. Number 5. 260P proposed to very long range escort flighter interceptor version. Number 6. 260PP proposed electronic warfare version carrying stand of jamming and ECM gear. Number 7. 260R proposed a strategic reconnaissance version. Number 8. 260SK proposed commercial version designed to launch satellites within the Bullock system. Number 9. 260M2 highly upgraded version featuring low absorbable coating, new, more powerful and efficient engines, giving it greater operational range, new avionics, electronics, glass, cockpit communications and control systems, and a number of weapons, as well as improved thrust and unreal foliage range. It will also have a new defensive system protecting it from missiles. First plane is to be ready by late 2021.